Welcome to North Carolina Wine TV. I'm your co-host Kip Bodner. And I'm your other co-host Jeff Cohen and we're here drinking North Carolina wine. What are we having? We are having another new winery here on the show, Carolina Heritage Vineyards from Elkin, North Carolina. Okay, so Elkin's in the Adkin Valley. That's right. Carolina Heritage. Heritage's first time on the show. Excited right. about that. What what type of wine we have well, folks at, at Carolina Heritage? Before we get there, I actually bought this wine at Weaver Street Market in Chapel Hill. Mm -hmm. And since it's a place where I go a fair amount, I check out the wine selection. Oh, and as you should. That's right, as I should. The North Carolina wine selection. And this is a new this is a new addition to the shelves okay. there at Weaver Street. They had three varieties, three three different kinds of Carolina okay. Heritage wine. And the one that we picked out because it was actually grown in the Adkin Valley is a blend of Chamberson and Cynthiana. Cynthiana, okay. Which is actually a Norton grape. Okay, interesting. So a blend of vinifera and, and Norton. So two different types of yeah. grapes. Um, it should be interesting. It should have a really unique flavor profile for good, better, or other. So. That, that's setting it up. I will say that they did a nice j job on the label with this. Mm -hmm. The label is looks sharp, professional. Yeah. Some nice blue foil around the top. It's good, it's good stuff. Um, again, thanks everybody for watching the show. Uh, always remember to check out Facebook, Twitter, all that awesome stuff over there. Uh, leave comments below. Tell us if you've ever had any Carolina Heritage. Uh, it's new to us, but maybe some of you have uh, tried it many times or tried other ones, so please let us know. Um, you want to give us a try? Yeah, and actually, just before we get into the the wine, let's we've sort of danced around a little bit how these shows keep going on. Kip now lives in Boston, but periodically we get together. We're actually in a hotel room in Charlotte. Absolutely, <laughs> we, we you know we love North Carolina wine. That's right, and we're gonna keep doing North Carolina wine too because it is fun, it is awesome, and gets us the ability to try new things, meet yep. new people. So we're having a lot of fun doing it. We appreciate everybody continuing to check it out, um, and we're going to try a really interesting one yeah. today, which, well, is, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Yeah, let's go ahead and smell it. Mm, interesting. It kind of smells like cinnamon and grape Kool-Aid. And there's a little bit of alcohol on there. A little heat there, yeah. a little heat. Not bad, but a little bit. Not a. There's nothing really that strong. No, it's but it smells good. If yeah, that makes any sense. It's like, I can't. It's it's. It's kind of hard to single anything out in this, but it smells like it would taste good. Yeah. Okay. Um. There's some fruit <coughs> of some type. A little strawberry action, I think, on this. A, like a, a lighter red fruit that's, mm -hmm. that's that's happening here. This is definitely a little. Uh, you know, it's kind of a mid-body wine. It looks like it could have a kind of. Little, Lighter body to yeah. it, a light medium body here. So let's okay. let's give it a try. Let's try. It. I've never had a wine like this. There's a lot of a lot of heat to it. Oh, there's like the finish. Yeah, it was good for a while. Finish is it, it's harsh. It's like. Arr. It's like somebody has like needles in the back of my yeah. mouth right now, and yeah. like not needles of tannins, like needles of bad taste, mm -hmm. like not tasting good. Slight bit of sweetness, a little fruit transitions into a little oak, a little like warmness mm -hmm. on the finish, gets down. As it's kind of really sitting back at that finish, it gets really kind of clunky and nasty. Yeah. And uh, uh, very harsh. At the, the very end, end, at like the very, very right. end. It's yeah. clear on the back, back part of your tongue. It's, it's a very strange wine to me. Uh, tannic and harsh on mm -hmm. that really back end. Something I don't think food would help. No, I, I don't think so either. I mean, it's, wow, mm -hmm. that's like, that's a tannin ball. Yeah. That's serious. Um, I don't know how to describe this. 
No. I feel like I'm not doing a good job describing this. And it's kind of just... It's strange. It's like two different wines. Like the first wine is like pretty good. Like it's not great, but it, it's pretty good. And the second wine, the second half of the sip is just bad. And and in that first half, I mean, if we if we sort of look at the first half, it's okay. It's I I think you're right. It's fine. Yeah, it's average. Yeah, it, you know, it's a ten dollar bottle of wine. Okay, fine. Right. But then when it gets harsh, you say, huh. Yeah. Hard earned ten dollars, hard earned Jeff dollars, not so sure. Yeah, it, <laughs> and had it stayed it stayed what it was initially through the whole Yeah. It's like, yeah, ten dollars, you know, it's not okay. gonna change your life, but you know right. it's a fair value for ten dollars. At this price point, I don't think it's a fair value for ten dollars because it's that it's just not tasty when it has that type right. of finish. Right. It's just not good. And I and and there's too many other good wineries and wines out there. Yeah. Uh, and some of their other wines may be good, but this this mm -hmm. one I'm I'm kind of sitting on like well, one and a half to kind of. And sucks. and as I told you, of of the three choices from Carolina Heritage, I picked this one because it's Yadkin Valley grown. Right. Thinking that would be more interesting. There was the other one. One was North Carolina, and one was America, which I was not interested in. Yeah. No. You know, we might get to it eventually, but. Yeah. Yeah, no. But yeah, certainly certainly our preferences for grapes grown in North in, Carolina. Right, in the state. Grown and made in North Carolina yeah. is always our preference. Um, I'm going to go one and a half, two bottles. I'm going to let Jeff make the final decision. Wow. You going with the one and a half? Or is kind of where I feel like he's leaning. If you, if you just think about like the first sip, it's good. Yeah. And then it's, it's very strange. Yeah, I, I think... I think I'll be kind and go one and a half. All right then. <laughs> Woo. Um, yeah, it's there's too much other good stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Take a pass on this. Um, maybe maybe give a, a, another one of their wines a shot. But yeah. I'm just not a fan of this particular one. So, all right, Jeff. We have these episodes sometimes, but hopefully the next one will be better. That's right. But here's to the All North State.